Can we just know we've officially started winter here in New England and I'm wearing short sleeves. It's actually raining today, so it's making it even milder. Okay, so the few items that I have here were items I collected throughout the pre-Christmas season, but they're winter themed. I am gonna start off with this snowman mug. This definitely is not new to Dollar Tree, but it is the first season that I have been able to find it here in my area. This at least has been around two, three years, possibly even more, but it has never made it around to the Dollar Trees I go to. Possibly could have, but I just kept missing it. But when I found it, I was shocked at how huge this thing is. It is really a big size. If you own this mug, let me know if you agree. I am so impressed. The only Christmas village houses that I found since they started putting them out for the Christmas season was this green one and the smaller galvanized one. This is the only one I picked up and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use it all throughout the year or is it going to be specifically for my winter decor but I know that I'm going to start it off as winter decor and then when I change it out we'll see what I decide. Gnome yard steak and by the way everything in my area is still a dollar it has not shifted over to a dollar 25 yet i love picking up these one dollar steaks from the dollar tree dollar or a dollar 25 is not a huge investment for something that battles the elements of outside so if it ends up that when it's time to bring it in if it didn't hold up well and it's not reusable for the next year then it was only a dollar it's it's not a big deal. This Hello Winter ornament has been around, again, at least two or three um, Christmas seasons. When you look at it, you know, it lends to Christmas vibes because of the red ribbon, and then he's got the red scarf, but it's, it's really not Christmassy. I mean, it says winter, you get the winter scarf, so it's got the winter trees, so I figured that this will work well with my winter theme. Then when I saw this next sign hanging at the Dollar Tree, I thought that this was one of the $5 items. We don't have any of those in our area. I don't know eventually if we will, but there is not one store that I have gone to that has that, I think it's called Five Plus area. But I thought that this came in accidentally and they marked it for a dollar. I was so excited. I don't know if it's, it's just the size of it. I know they've done something like this in this size for Halloween, but I don't know. For some reason, when I saw this sign, I thought it was worth more than a dollar. And I, gosh, I, I love what it says. If kisses were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. And like perfect in the area that I live in. We actually got snow on Christmas Eve. The rain washed it away on Christmas Day, but it was really, really nice. And the snowflakes are like felt and um, they're not flat to the sign. And I'm going to be using this in my bedroom. So in about a week or so, I should have that up so look out for that the last piece of winter decor is this sign it says let it snow i think my plan for this is to hang it on one of my outside doors now on to that winter themed movie night popcorn here is your secret ingredient you want to go grab yourself one of these snow cap boxes. You can also get your popcorn at the Dollar Tree. They have the three pack of the Pop Secret for 
well, a dollar, dollar twenty-five, depending on where you are. Also, from time to time, not often, but I do encounter the six-pack, and I think they have another brand. It might be like a knockoff brand. Not really sure, but either or, or you can make your own popcorn at home, homemade popcorn, healthy popcorn. Well, I guess if you added this, it wouldn't be so healthy, right? But I guess it would be healthier than microwave popcorn. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make this popcorn. I did not pick up any because I still have some from the last time I picked it up at the Dollar Tree. So let's go make that yummy, fun popcorn that you have to try, because I promise you are going to love it. It just screams winter for us. I've popped my popcorn. Oh my gosh, my house smells like a dang movie theater right now. Let's give it a quick shake. You could also do this once the uh, popcorn has cooled down. Totally up to you. They're like tiny little chocolate morsels. Just pour them in. You can mix it. You can leave it on top. However you want to do it. So we'll give this a little mix. Look how cute that is. This is a must add to your hot cocoa bar. This pairs up fantastic with some hot cocoa. like my little family fun winter popcorn recipe you gotta let me know was this new to you have you always done this have you heard of it and just never did it first time you've got to let me know and if you've never tried it and you're gonna try it come back let me know because I am so interested to know what you think of it I'm gonna help myself with some more now I'm gonna go make myself some hot cocoa